Well, uh, everybody, listen, my next guest is back with the meal that the whole family will love, and it only takes a half an hour. That's it. Please welcome world-renowned chef and my friend, Fabio Viviani. <laughs> how are you? Fabio, how you doing? I like how you went from helping to full-on eating, guys. Oh, it's, I, yeah, I don't see, get... that's what we do now. I'm sitting back today. We're doing it different, and I'm going to be dining with Laura and Kelly, a couple of people from the audience. I love it. You can <laughs> tell who's running the show. I mean, I'm cooking. He's just enjoying the ladies there. I love yeah. it. I love it, man. <laughs> Fabio, right. what are you making today, So man? spring, spring, although not quite out there yet, is coming. And no, no, it's spring everywhere but here. Yeah, <laughs> so true. <laughs> true that. So what we are trying to figure it out is how to put together a quick meal for the family to enjoy that can also be done not only in the kitchen on a grill, but outside, maybe on a barbecue or, or a griddle in your, in your backyard as soon as the snow melts. So what we can do here, <laughs> we're going to have two beautiful pieces of a whole tenderloin. Now, filet mignon, in this case, is seasoned with a mix of peppercorn, different peppercorn, black, white, pink peppercorn. We have some chipotle paste and a little bit of olive oil. We rub everything on the filet, the whole tenderloin, and when the tenderloin has sear, we just finish this in the oven. Because like we said, we like to get things down fairly fast. All right? Yes. So the oven, the Bam, oven. Bam, TV. <laughs> you know, Steve, I love being here. You have the best kitchen equipment ever. It cooks so fast. <laughs> I mean, it's re he really is fast. So what, what you do now, when you have the whole roasted tenderloin, which based on the temperature that you like, could be anywhere between 130 degrees and 150 for a more medium well. What you do, you get a plate and you carve, you carve the filet. In this case, I have some pieces of uh, um, butcher twine to keep the filet together. So you gotta make sure that when you're eating, you're not eating the actual butcher twine. That's important. <laughs> well, for as much as the meat- If my will... daddy put it on your plate, you're gonna eat it, so. <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's the way I grew up, Steve. I had two food choices, take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they, they, they were my food choices. So now that we have the main component, we have a nice piece of medium steak, slice it thinner, thicker, that's totally up to you. We have a wonderful summer salad. Corn will be ready in a few weeks. There is gonna start to be some really good corn out there. So we're gonna have some beef lettuce. We're gonna put some corn in it. And we're gonna put some summer herbs. We have some dill, we have some mint, we have basil, and every herb's a little bit thorn with my hand. Just thorn them up. We got some chives, pinch of salt, we have some pepper, and what I like to do, since the filet mignon is very, very well seasoned, I'm only lightly <laughs> seasoned this with a little bit of olive oil. That's it. And the final touch, some wonderful Italian prosciutto di Parma. Mm. Look at this yeah, beauty here. Delicious. Then, with the help of a nice bowl, toss everything in it. Then we get there. <laughs> Big some of the leaf. All right. And the wonderful meal, guys, is done. Less than 30 minutes. You got a nice piece of steak. You got some wonderful salad. And you get some wine to go with it. Fabio. Steve, enjoy. What yes. kind of wine is this again? This is a Cabernet Sauvignon from the California region. This is one of the SKU that we have in my new wine collection. It's very, very good with a lot of foods. Not too oaky, got some black fruit tone, and this has less tannins than a normal Cabernet would have. So it's very versatile with food. Cheers, guys. Cheers, thank you. Hey, Fabio. This is my new wine right here. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Ladies, let me ask you something. What do you think? What do you think of the food? Delicious. Definitely. Love the pairings. Thank you. Yeah. Goes very well. Fabio, this is great, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. And it's very easy. 30 minutes or less. All you gotta do will take five minutes to sear the steak, put them in the oven for another 20, 25. In the meantime, set the table, set the mood. Maybe our friend before. I'm gonna try that. I've, I've never done that before. Very easy, you know? I'm gonna do that. No, that's pretty good. I love it, man. Nice, Thank you so salad. much. Thank you guys for having me, always. Thank you, Fabio. Hey, listen, for these recipes, 
And if you want to find out more about Fabio's delicious wines, go to steveharveytv.com. We'll be right back, folks.